Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, February 6th, and it's an S1 day. Today's lunch is Kung Pao Chicken. The SAT word of the day is susceptible, which means in easily influenced or affected. Today on the show, we have a few stories and a clip from yesterday's event. So sit back and relax because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Ellie Kelleher. And I'm Aiden Mulligan. Let's get started with some announcements. Any student interested in taking an AP exam in the spring should sign up and give the initial check at $20 to Ms. Giordano and guidance by March 8th. All checks should be made out to Nord High School and should have the student's name on it along with the name of the test the student is taking. If you didn't see enough of the parade on everyone's social media, here are some clips from the parade. This is, of course, for those who didn't skip school because we value our education. There will be a meeting for all Dominican trip participants today after school in the 205 conference room. Please see Mrs. Kaplan if you cannot attend. Also, debate club will meet today after school. New members are always welcome and encouraged to come. Next up, we have a story from next month's edition of Mustang Magazine. It's National Signing Day for student athletes across the nation. Sophomores Grace Melster and Nick Spadorsha caught up with two NHS athletes going through the recruiting process now. When junior field hockey player Allie McDonough first realized she wanted to play in college, she was just a sophomore. I figured like I wanted to get recruited, so I joined a club team called Allegiance and they're out of Providence. And then with my club team, I went to tournaments. And from those tournaments, she started to get noticed by college coaches. And then when I got contacted, I would go to their recruitment camps so they could see me play. Donna has been a three-year starter for the varsity team at NHS. Heading into her junior year, the offers from coaches started to come in. After September 1st, they can start to talk about like offers and how much they can give you. So it kind of all got difficult with like communication because it had to be like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. And recruiters don't just talk sports. There are other factors. You have to explain what you're going to do for that school and like how you want to take on education. Senior lacrosse player Jake Smelster began his recruiting process in a similar fashion. found me at uh, one of my tournaments in the fall and then I, they continued to reach out to me and um, so I sent them my highlights. Once a school and an athlete show mutual interest, the next step is a visit. For Smelster, that meant traveling to Ithaca College in New York. For a visit, I talked to the head coach, Coach Long, continued on my visit and I came for an overnight and I uh, committed on August 7th, 2018, over the summer. Foster has recently signed the letter of intent to play, but McDonough, being only a junior, still has next year to make up her mind. And you have to talk about pretty much like going on campus as much as possible, but like if you commit in senior year, you have more of a time gap to like see where you want to put yourself, I guess. Smelster is graduating in June and plans on enrolling to Ithaca next fall. McDonough says she's leaning towards Stonehill but hasn't made any commitments yet. Stay tuned to Usang Sports Blog for any new developments. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Nick Spadorsha. Thanks guys. Be sure to keep an eye out for that story and many more on the February edition of Mustang Magazine. In other news, Friendship Club will meet today after school in the CAF. Also, any senior who wants to recreate an old photo for the Now and Then page in the yearbook, email it to Miss Camp by Monday. Now, here's Joe Spadorsha with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Joe Spadorsha here with your sports update. Yesterday, boys basketball lost to Bellingham 43-53, and girls basketball beat Bellingham 63-22. Gymnastics placed first at their TVL meet. Today for sports, boys hockey has a game against Halston at Bajco, and girls hockey has a game against Dedham at Nobles. That's all I have for today. For more Mustang sports content, be sure to follow Ustang Sports on Twitter and check out Ustangs.com. Now back to the desk. And that's all we have for today as well. Don't forget to check us out online at mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, Mustangs.